New details now in a Target 12 investigator's exclusive lingering layoff. The head of the state's Health and Human Services says she has asked for a human resources review following our investigation into a high-paid employee at the troubled Eleanor Slater Hospital who officials unsuccessfully tried to let go twice. Target 12 investigator Tim White is here now with the exclusive details. This is the first time we're hearing from the Health and Human Services Secretary about questions we raised months ago. A Department of Administration spokesperson says she called for the review just two days after one of our investigations aired. As Target 12 revealed in May, Christopher Feastamill, the Chief of Operations and Financial Management at the state-run Eleanor Slater Hospital, was set to be laid off twice between October and February, but Feastamill, who takes home a $226,000 salary, survived. Emails obtained by Target 12 through a public records request raised questions about what Feastamill was doing during that time. Was he working? I will give you a direct answer. Target 12 met up with Secretary Womazetta Jones at a news conference about Eleanor Slater on Wednesday. I have referred this matter to Human Resources to conduct a review in order to give us those those answers and not from my vantage point or anyone else's. For at least part of the time in question, Feastamill was reporting directly to Jones's department where his timesheets were being signed, but the secretary still struggled to explain what he was doing. At that time, my director of finance and budget was like, sure, we'll try to find something if he doesn't have enough to do. And she did attempt to do that, but we did not need his assistance. So we explained or Director Fisher explained. Doesn't sound like you need HR's review. It sounds like he wasn't working then. No, they didn't I, need his help. You let didn't. me just state, I don't know the specific four months because I've gotten different stories of which four months we're talking about. As Target 12 reported last week, Feastamill claims his job was protected by an obscure HR policy called Leave to Protect, allowing him to reserve his old job while working in the new one. More than 1,600 state workers have Leave to Protect status, according to records. As for the outcome of the review, well, that remains up in the air. A spokesperson tells us the Department of Administration does not comment on nor disclose the results of personnel matters. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, 12 News.